Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1974 Gran Torino, the Starsky and Hutch car. We had a few little issues with dashboard. We couldn't get the fuel gauge to work and we couldn't get the temperature gauge to work and some of the lights on the dashboard weren't working. So, ended up having to take the gauge cluster out of the dashboard and to do that you got to take the whole top of the dashboard apart as you can see here so we found that the printed circuit right back there that is your printed circuit had a couple of brakes in it so we fixed those brakes and now everything on the dash is actually working and there you can see okay so all the lights are now out. The only thing we still have to figure out why it's not working is the temperature gauge. But we'll get to that. It's probably a bad sending unit on that one. But now at least we have a gauge for the fuel. That's working. When you turn the key on, now all the lights that are supposed to go on on dash, they go on, not like before. Um, the next thing we found is when a car sits for 15 years a big problem that you will have hey everybody bones here bones garage bringing the update what's going on at the garage i'm gonna make this one quick because it really really stinks bad for the 1974 gran torino starsky and hutch car i don't know if you can see it but if you look down in there where do you go stay still Right there is number three of the dead mice that we've pulled out of his blower fan. Yes, we pulled three mice. Let's see if we can get the light. There he is. There he is. You see him right there? There he is right there. That's him. That's number three. Yes. Okay. Gotta go. Throw that friggin' thing out. <laughs> All righty, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.